Hi there. So interestingly, I didn't know what I was going to vlog about today. I had some kind of idea. It was kind of boring. But then something happened today that actually was super interesting and I learned a huge lesson. So I had a conflict with a client today. Little hiccup, maybe a little miscommunication. Someone I've been working with for a long time, like um, two years, and they're in Chicago, and we've never actually met face-to-face. -face. And I haven't used the video much until recently, so I've it's always just been a voice and email communication type of thing, which I don't think is always the best, and it's just one reason why I'm doing all these videos. Uh, but anyway, so we were, if you hear my kids screaming, they're, I don't know what they're doing, if they ate too much candy or what. But. I can hear them. I don't know if you can. Um, so anyway, we were there was a conflict, and it was really stressing me out because I knew that she was feeling bad, and I was kind of feeling bad. And I also know that when it comes to my clients, the relationship is really the only thing that we have. If we can't have a good relationship, if we don't have a good relationship, like it's just stressful on both sides, and it's really not worth the engagement. And I want to try to build up the, a relationship, a better relationship with this client. Um, and I could tell today that, you know, there was upset on both sides. Nothing major, nothing huge or anything. But uh, anyway, I was, we were communicating on email and it wasn't going well. And I was going to respond in the email and I thought, and I stopped myself. I'm like, you know what, this isn't working out. She's not going to understand what I'm saying. If I respond on the email, I'm just going to sound cold and, um, you know, being this vendor out here in this world of who knows where, because she's never seen me hardly at all, maybe on the video once in a great while. Um, but since I just said, you know, I'm going to do a video. And it took me like an hour and a half. And I was getting really frustrated because I, I couldn't figure out how to say what I wanted to say in a way that made sense. And so I kept like, recording and recording and editing and I was like forget it and I would go back to the email and I would start typing an email I'm like I can't email her it's not going to work and I knew it in my heart I'm like this is not gonna work and so I forced myself to just kept I'm like I'm just I gotta get this so I finally did one more take of the video it took me like a four minute video and I just I didn't edit it or anything I just sent it off to her and I was kind of nervous because I was like man I hope this makes sense. I hope I don't like offend. I just really wanted her to, to see how I really felt and that my goal is to truly help her be the best that she can be, you know, and I wanted to get that across. So I sent the video and I was upset and I was like, ah, this isn't going to work and all this. And then she responded and, um, and she was like, thank you for the video. Yeah, I did think that. So I really appreciate you clarifying and everything. So the takeaway is, I, I mean, email doesn't convey sometimes what you need it to convey, especially if there's conflicts or friction or things like that. So I just thought that was interesting. I don't really know what the title of this vlog is going to be right now, but um, I'll figure it out because that's what I do. I'm a marketer, content person. Um, but I just thought that was really interesting that I used video to de-escalate a client conflict. Something to think about. Okay, we'll see you later. Have a great night. Bye. Oh, you look so scary. <laughs> You're cringy. <laughs> Cringe. Like okay. Cringe. Bye. Have some candy. I don't want your dirty candy lady. Stranger danger.